Hello, Henry, and welcome to the Come Zone. When I was a kid, me and my sisters always loved renting movies. That was just kind of like the highlight of the week, you know? And honestly, that's kind of the main reason why my channel went to this type of content is I have watched so many movies when I was younger. And I'm not gonna lie, as an adult, I don't really enjoy movies as much as I used to. But what I do have is nostalgia of going to family video and looking around and browsing and picking a few movies and then peeking my way into the 18 plus section and then giggling to my friends. Oh, I saw boobies. And one of those movies that I watched was Zathura. And I feel like Zathura is one of those movies that you kind of just forgot about for a long time until someone, you know, a handsome YouTuber, decided to tell you about it. And I feel like this movie gets a really bad rap. And it kind of makes sense because if you've seen the movie or know about the movie, it is basically the exact same plot line as Jumanji except in space and it really did not do well with the budget of 65 million and only making 65.1 million I mean I guess you could say they went positive at least but I feel like this movie is kind of on par with Jumanji but you know no one can really compare to the original Jumanji no I'm not talking about the new Jumanji I'm talking about the original Jumanji and obviously one of the main reasons the original Jumanji is better than Zathura is Robin Williams of course but let me start off by saying this something that you might not know this is in fact not a knockoff of Jumanji because it was written by the same author. Chris Von Allsberg, known not just for Jumanji and not just for Zathura, but also the Polar Express, which makes so much more sense about that movie. Because let's be real, Jumanji, Zathura, and Polar Express are all kind of fever dreams. But obviously moviegoers are not gonna look at Zathura and be like, oh, that was written by the same author. No, no one looks at the author, no one looks who wrote it. They just see, oh, this movie has the same premise as Jumanji, but in space. So they just assume it's a knockoff. And sure, the movie is the same when it comes to board game that does crazy wacky things. But the story is just completely different because this movie movie isn't necessarily about the board game itself, but about the bond between brothers. And not to mention, Dax Shepard and Kristen Stewart were in this movie. But the reason I made this is I kind of wanted to bring light to this movie. Not many people know about this movie, and a lot of people just assumed off the bat that it's some cheap knockoff. And I'm here to tell you today, it ain't a cheap knockoff. I mean, it's, it's not as good as Jumanji, but... It's still a pretty good movie, all right? But before we watch this movie, right now I'm just trying to figure out what my password is to my YouTube channel and I can't for the life of me remember it. Are you tired of forgetting your password? Who the hell? Well, let me tell you about a great new product. Oh no. It's the ad narrator. Now me personally, I have forgotten my password to things all the time. But there is this amazing new thing called NordPass. How are you controlling my computer? Why don't you stop losing track of what your passwords are and have them all in one fortified location so you never have to worry again. Uh, get off, get off my computer. Not to mention the best feature of all, NordPass automatically fills in your password for you so you don't even need to do it yourself. Just get off my computer, well, what are you doing? Well, maybe if you remembered your password, we wouldn't be having this problem. How does that make any sense? So make sure to go to nordpass.com slash bionicpig and use code bionicpig to get 50% off of one year of NordPass premium. Code bionicpig? But that's my name. Well, of course it is your name. I am you. So go to nordpass.com slash bionicpig or use code bionicpig for 50% off your first year at NordPass. The movie starts out with a father and son playing catch. Then dad says it's Danny's turn. Ugh, what a loser. He can't even catch a ball and he's six. Can he get it? Can he get it? Dodgers win! He's such a dick! So yeah, Walter's kind of a dick. Like, honestly, I would understand Walter's actions if Danny kind of gave him back. If Danny was also kind of an asshole back to Walter. But no, it's very one-sided. So Walter talks to his dad about how cringe it is that his dad has to work to make a living and how life would be easier without Danny. Oh, what a nice kid. So then we meet Kristen Stewart's character, who's the classic whiny teenage girl who doesn't want to get out of bed and has a date tonight. So their dad ends up having to go to work and holy shit, is he playing Jack? Kid's got some good taste in games. Oh, Walter's just gonna be an asshole again and shut off the game. And then he ends up putting on Sports Center because you know, 
It's pretty fucking cool. He's a cool kid. So Tanny tries to play catch with Walter just because he wants to have fun, and then he accidentally hits him in the face with the ball, and that precedes Walter to chase him down. Then he ends up trapping Danny in the basement. Oh boy. What a good kid. And this is where the game begins. In the basement, Danny stumbles upon Zathura, the board game. And obviously, Walter being the cool kid that he is, he thinks board games are cringe, bro. Yeah, I'm 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 fourth grade. I'm too cool for that. I mean, like, until a meteor shower comes down and destroys their entire house, and then they end up in space. What? Walter, check this out. That's a very subtle reaction to uh, just appearing in space next to Saturn. I mean, a little bit of a, a scream or a, or a wow or a yowza would suffice, but just a, hey, come look at this. Come check this shit out. We're in space now, Walter. Whoa, nothing, not nothing, no reaction. So a few questions right off the bat, and let me say that these might have been answered in the book because we all know how movies kind of glaze over the details but they're in space you ain't supposed to be able to breathe in space also is this a dream is this real is there like a giant crater where their house used to be like it would be kind of cool if they added an element of going back to earth and just seeing a giant crater and people freaking out like where did the house go you know that's one thing that jumanji did way better than this they brought a real world element to it they saw it on the news there's stampedes of animals around the town everyone's reacting to it but in this world it's just the kids and that's it but moving on somehow their sister didn't wake up during the media shower how is this possible how is it oh it's the bose headphones she's wearing with those noise canceling power of bose you'll be able to sleep through a meteor shower that's a good ass ad placement if you ask me so instead of just asking their sister to open the front door and just look outside and see that they are next to saturn they decide to just play the board game in front of her to convince her that it's a magic board game i mean i'm sure she'll get convinced at some oh great now she's frozen stupid children so then they read the instructions and figure out that they have to complete the game in order for everything to go back to normal jumanji that's your robot be a juice box biatch don't do that why not it's my robot you might make it mad one thing that i find funny but also i kind of like at the same time is the fact that they are in space playing some magical game that could potentially kill them at any second, yet their basic sibling arguments are just acting like everything's normal. I mean, they're not gonna be even a little bit concerned about the sentient robot. I mean, regardless of the size. Oh, now it's big. So since Walter pulled the car, the robot is after Walter. So he yells at Danny to do his turn. And instead of Danny taking his turn, he just watches the robot try to kill his brother for a solid five minutes. <laughs> So after Danny finally takes his so Danny finally takes his turn, maybe things will finally start looking oh my god. Really? Really? They're flying next to a star? I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm starting to think this movie wasn't based on a true story. I mean, let's be real. There's no way they could look at the star for that long and their eyes aren't hurting. Like, come on. So somehow they get away from the robot and also just don't get sunburnt by the star? All right. What are you doing? Making mac and cheese. There's no water, dummy. We're in outer space. Ah! Don't bother. The gas won't work. I also really like this part right here, how self-aware the writing is. At least implying that these children are smart enough to realize that this ain't normal for the house to be working while they're in space. Because this house ain't following any laws of physics whatsoever. So now they get visited by space pirate lizards called Zorgon. You are visited by Zorgons. What's a Zorgon? I don't think it's bad. I mean, I mean, I'm just assuming they're space pirates because of the ship that they're driving, they got three cannons on the sides and they got a harpoon. Sea of Thieves, bitch, we play in Space of Thieves. So while the Zorgons are basically just destroying their house, Walter gets a card that says reprogram. Important information for later. Best on standing astroturf. 
What? Rest on standing astroturf. Let me read it. No. <laughs> dumb six-year-old can't read. Cringe. Cringe. Dumb. Oh my God, it's Dax Shepard. So quick question. I know I shouldn't be bringing this up again about physics and everything in this movie. How and why is he able to float in a spacesuit when both of the kids aren't floating and they also can breathe without a spacesuit? I guess the house just has its own gravity and oxygen, even though everything is open, like the walls are open, everything is. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay in a confused limbo and move on. So astronaut, because he's never given a name in this movie, helps them by hiding the house. And you want to know how they hide the house? Apparently, Zorgons have heat vision. So all they do is just turn off all the flames, all the heat, all the lights in the house. Poof. They're gone. I mean, I know they've been circling them for like the past 15 minutes, but uh, since the lights went out, they just lost track of them. Gone. It's basically the equivalent of this. Oh. What? 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 Where, where'd it go? What? Oh yeah, also, um, uh, Zorgons eat humans. Wonder if they're gonna come back. So Walter, like the stupid child that he is, wants the astronaut to leave because he thinks he's a big boy and he can handle things himself. Oh, you telling me to leave? Well, I mean, once you get finished eating, yeah. The man just saved your lives and apparently knows more about the game than you do, but yeah, let's get him out of here. Get him out of here, I'm a big boy. I don't need you. But since it was Danny who spun the card, it's his call. And Danny, since he's the smart one, tells him to stay. Good job, Danny. So then we have another brother-to-brother -brother conflict. And once again, hilarity ensues on account of how ridiculous a situation that they are in. Yet they're just acting like everything is normal. Like they're back at home. We're not in space. There's not Zorgons coming to eat our butts. I was ahead of you. Somebody must have kicked the board. No, nobody kicked the board. You cheated. Oh, yeah, I knew you were gonna cheat. Che Cheater's a strong I word. Cheat. It's literally Walter is mad at Danny because Danny moved his game piece forward. And he's not angry because he's like, oh, it's a magical game. What's gonna happen? No, he's angry because Walter wants to win. He doesn't want Danny to win. That's why he's angry. But anyway, Walter gets yeeted out of a hole in the roof. <laughs> Fuck you, Walter. Oh. Damn it, he got saved. So their sister is finally unfrozen and she is just completely fine with everything that's going on. She's not gonna question why she was frozen. She's not gonna question why everything in the room is wet and cold. She just says, hey, I'm cold and then turns up the heat. Uh oh, what alien creature is attracted to heat? You got it. Good roll, good roll. Nine's a great roll. I meant great. In the star. Make a wish as it passes. <laughs> That's gotta be the best card in the whole game. I hope you win. I don't care who wins. It's because you never win at anything, Danny. How is it not your fault? This is all your fault. Everything's your fault. It's your fault mom and dad got divorced. Hey! Jesus, the more I watch this movie, the more I hate Walter. Your house is in space. There's man eating aliens coming for you and you are more focused on winning than anything else. Then you get mad at your brother for saying good job, and then you tell him that he is the reason his parents got divorced? Bro, he, wh what, do you, what do you want? What a good brother. So anyway, since Walter got the best spin in the game, he got a golden card, and the golden card gives him one wish. Now I know what you all are thinking. He'll wish everything back to normal. Or maybe he just wishes that he wins the game. And even the astronaut is thinking that Walter is going to wish Danny was never born. So he's trying to get him to not wish that. But guess what? He don't wish for any of that. He wished for an autographed football from Brett Favre. Oh boy, I'm, I'm about to smack a fictional child. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna smack a fictional child, I swear to God. So the astronaut tells them that he actually played Zathura once and he actually wished his brother was never born, and that is why he is stuck in the limbo of Zathura. I played it with my own brother 15 years ago. I made my wish. What'd you wish for? I wish that my brother had never been born. I mean, not gonna lie, wishing for your brother to have never been born, that's kind of cringe. Not epic. So Zorgons, of course, are now back, and somehow they yoinked the board game. Games are only way home, and now the Zorgons are burning it. 
So now in order to attract the Zorgons back to them, in order to get the board game, they start a giant fire in the kitchen. Oh, hello, Lisa. Hi. How has she gone this whole time without noticing anything happening? That's strange. So the Zorgons, since they are space pirates, harpoon the house and board the house, just like a regular pirate ship. All right, they're arming the harpoons. They're gonna board us. Man, I wonder what these things look like. Oh God, oh, kill it, kill it. Did someone threaten to kill one of God's beautiful creatures? Oh, holy shit, Peter Jones is back. His name is Peter. He wears a red shirt. He goes to parties. He's really cool. And, and he could do a drum solo, go! Was that really necessary? So anyway, Danny finds his way onto the Zorgon ship and he searches around and sees that the board game is on a conveyor belt into a fire pit. The reason that they have that, I don't know. But thank God he manages to grab the board game, get back without attracting any attention. except that he did. Oh great, now they're trapped, and on top of all of that, the robot comes out of nowhere as well. They're basically screwed. Welp, just kidding, boom, bam. Remember reprogram card in the past? Bam, robot now is friendly. So the robot, since he's friendly, saves the day, destroys all the Zorgons, bam. Now comes the end of the movie, which is quite interesting, and I kind of like it. So Walter miraculously gets another wish card, and for his wish, he doesn't wish for something for himself, he wishes for the astronaut's brother back. And lo and behold, there is a twist. The astronaut's brother, Danny. And this isn't explained in the movie, again, probably explained in the book, but the astronaut was actually Walter. I'm not sure if it's like an alternate universe thing or the multiverse theory where he was in the future and then he traveled to the past of a different multiverse just to stop himself from wishing away his brother. But I guess multiverse theory wouldn't work because he like become, he, he goes into Walter like he like sucks, like Walter sucks him in, Danny sucks the other Danny in and now they're one. It's confusing, okay? But just because it's confusing does not mean I don't like it. So now we are at the end of the game. There are hundreds of Zorgons blowing up their house and Danny finally wins the game. It's sucked through a giant black hole and time travel back to the time right before Danny's about to push the button on the board game to begin. The brothers finally realize, hey, Walter, stop being an asshole. And then Walter's like, okay, 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 fine. I won't. And they live happily ever after. So all in all, I feel like this movie's decent. I, I personally feel like it could have been a nice gem that people would enjoy. But the big problem is it was just overshadowed by Jumanji because the, Jumanji is a better movie and it kind of looked like it was ripping off Jumanji even though it was written by the same author. Because let's be real, this movie ain't gonna be comparing to Robin Williams. I, but still, I do think this is a great family movie. It kind of got a bad rap and it should be appreciated a little bit more. Especially, I just wanna mention this, the child actors, because I've seen plenty of child actors and some are just atrocious. And both of these guys did just a great job. But thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, please share with your friend. Also, if you want more of me, please make sure to follow me on my Twitch channel. I have a regular streaming schedule now and I kind of made it a schedule so I could stop sleeping until four in the afternoon. And make sure to follow me on other platforms, whatever. I don't really care. I mostly care about Twitch. And also thank you so much to NordPass for sponsoring this video, please go check that out. Nordpass.com slash Pig for 50% off your first year. Make sure to do that. Save your passwords. It's smart. But thank you all, and I will see you next time.